As it fell upon a day in the merry month of May, sitting in a pleasant shade which a grove of myrtles made, beasts did leap and birds did sing, trees did grow and plants did spring, everything did banish moan, save the nightingale alone. She, poor bird, as all forlorn, leaned her breast up till a thorn, and there sung the doleful ditty that to hear it was great pity. Fie, 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 now would she cry, tell you, tell you, by and by, that to hear her so complain, scarce I could from tears refrain, for her griefs so lively shown, made me think upon mine own. Ah, thought I, thou mournst in vain, none takes pity on thy pain. Senseless trees, they cannot hear thee, ruthless beasts, they will not cheer thee. King Pandion, he is dead, all thy friends are lapped in lead, all thy fellow birds do sing, careless of thy sorrowing. Even so, poor bird, like thee, none alive will pity me, whilst as fickle fortune smiled, thou and I were both beguiled. Every one that flatters thee is no friend in misery. Words are easy like the wind, faithful friends are hard to find. Every man will be thy friend whilst thou hast wherewith to spend, but if store of crowns be scant, no man will supply thy want. If that one be prodigal, bountiful they will him call, and with such like flattering pity, but he were a king. If he be addicted to vice, quickly him they will entice. If to women he be bent, they have at commandment. But if fortune wants to frown, then farewell his great renown. They that fawned on him before use his company no more. He that is thy friend indeed, he will help thee in thy need. If thou sorrow, he will weep. If thou wake, he cannot sleep. Thus of every grief in heart, he with thee doth bear a part. These are certain signs to know, faithful friend, from flattering foe.